Touch gloves, here we go. Kavoy, the man in charge here. And there is Whitaker, just taking a seat on the rope there, testing it out. Seeing how tense it is. Second out, round one. So into the first we go, they're scheduled for eight. Leon Willings in the blue. Central area champion, won that with a really good performance against Jake Barton in Liverpool. Boxing out of the away corner. He hasn't had too long to prepare for this, but he never strays too far from the gym. And he was willing to step up. It's not easy to get people to fight Whitaker. The price has gone up again in most people's minds after what happened at the start of February. So matching him can be a tough job. Really? I've, I've heard a few up and coming boxers calling him out. <laughs> so, but hey, I guess, like you said, they're looking for a certain calibre. And yeah, this is um, the fight we got Liam Williams, Central Area Champion. Jab to the chest there from Whitaker. A little fate, seeing if he can draw something there from Willings. There from Willings, he was trapped in the corner, but it just dipping at the waist managed to avoid the left hand that came in. Yeah, good work there though from Whitaker, targeting the body, you know, take what he gives you, and he's doing that, taking the body, jabs the body, straight right hands the body, then banging in that left hook. You already see there the body, red raw against having that jab into the body. Yeah, I like Ben, Ben's very. Um, busy with his jab. For about five minutes shots already. Look at the shot down with the right hand, the glove touch down there for Willing, so that will be counted as a knockdown. He was pinned back on the ropes. He was looking for the left hand to the body there, Whitaker. Then did just catch him with that chopping down right hand. Willing's just shaking his head as he realised the knockout was going to be given then when boxing resumed, tried to climb into a left hook but a reddening up on the left hand side of the face as well as the rib cage. Whitaker picking his punch as well here. He's really digging him in now. Just landed a lovely left hook to the body. Yeah, this, with a right hand. this is the fastest, most aggressive start I've seen from Ben Whitaker. There's been no prevarication here whatsoever. He's been straight into business. No standing off, no having a look. None of the showboating that we've seen previously in fights. He's just got straight down to the business of letting his hands go. Strong right hand there again. Willings just trying to dip those knees and roll away from the left hand. But he's trapped in the corner. Yeah, I think that guy that maybe called him out at the press conference has peed him off because <laughs> he's really firing at all cylinders. We're well, right to the end of the round there. We've got a little bit of what we've seen. Lovely variation with his opponent on the ropes. Body, head. Yeah, I don't think, um, sorry, Leon's going to go past three rounds, you know. There's nothing wrong with showing off those reflexes. We had this discussion about said topic, the two of us, during the week, which I very much enjoyed. We may all get back to it at some point. A left hand there, though, does land for Williams as Whitaker was just trying to pull out. So he's got to be a little bit careful. He's got a strong left hook, Leon Willings. That might have been the first time I've seen him get hit with three shots, you know. It's good to see that from Willings opening up, not being so passive, but actually, you know, taking the initiative. You know, he's pinning on those ropes. He's got it. The right hand's going to come over, over the top of that jab. So it's, he's got to make, it's okay making Whitaker miss, but then he's got to fire back as well. But that will have given Willing some confidence. Maybe caught Whitaker a little bit cold at the start of the round. Look for the uppercut with the left hand, then with the right. He's just beginning to open up a little bit here, Willings, which may be exactly what Whitaker wants, but it's making for a good spectacle. You landed a nice right uppercut there, Willings. Good long right hand, followed up by the left, but the glove was not where it needed to be there for Willings to take some of the impact out of it. 
Ben's doing something really good when Williams is on the ropes. He's tab tabbing him to the mid area and then comes upstairs. It's really, really good. You can see the reddening on Williams' body already. And looking for that uppercut again there, Willings. He is going. You could tell that from watching his previous fights. And that left hand is quite dangerous because he throws it in a quite unorthodox manner. Good right hands here, though, for Whitaker. As he throws four or five in a row, he can fling it up from the waist, from below the waist, almost down by his knee, Willings. There's the shot to the body again. Taps downstairs and comes upstairs. Really good stuff by Ben Whitaker. Lovely right now. Yeah, that was not sure. Right I had just measured him with the lead left hand and chucked it down. Again, just climbs into that left hand. It's a strange, unorthodox kind of style that he throws it with. Which could get him back to the jab to the body. He's winning this round, Whitaker, but Willings has had a much better round than he had in the first round, and it'll be giving him plenty of confidence if he can finish it well in this last 30 seconds. Definitely a much better round for Willings, landing some good shots. And he's starting to have a little razzle dazzle as well with the hands down, and you know, it looks like he's getting a bit more confident. Into the final 10 seconds. And he's settled here, Willings. You always wonder whether fighters will handle this kind of stage when they take to it for the first time. Keep going about the business of breaking him down, and that's what you have to do in any fight. If you want that finish, you have to earn it. It's always possible you can catch somebody cold with one. They're not ready for, they're not braced for early in a fight, but you can't ever bank on that. Whitaker certainly hasn't here. He's gone about his business in a very purposeful fashion. But Willing showed us something in that second round, didn't he, Dan? Well, no, he did. Like I said, he was getting a bit more confident. Um, didn't win the round, but was definitely had a better round. Yeah, but Whitaker's just teeing off from Willing on the ropes. Good one, two there from Whitaker. Willing's trying to get off the ropes, eventually does. Behind that left hand, he recognised that that was not where he needed to be. He found the range well there, Whitaker. Right hand comes back there from Willings, and Whitaker, I think, is enjoying this, having somebody in front of him who is really looking to try and throw back him. A little bit of a flash move there from Willings, who turned southpaw, turned square, and then kind of threw in a long left uppercut. Yeah, I heard in the corner Willings' coach telling him beat him at his own game, so maybe we might see a bit of showboating from Willings. Good side right hand again there for Whitaker as he's got Willings backed up to the ropes but he's taken these well so far to win this fight so it doesn't mean you can take them forever but he hasn't shown any ill effects of tasting the power of Whitaker. Poor right hand. Oh, uh, he makes me laugh. He's trying to point at me whilst he's in the room. What a funny guy. Well, he's just offering in that head almost there, then launches in with the left. And he's making Whitaker work here. Right hand over the top, landed on the back of the head, but on the left hand, got through. Landed some good shots here, Willings. I think he's growing in confidence as well. How can he let him talk to his coach? Jeez. And Whitaker with the long right hand gets through and he's trying to put Willings under some pressure in the corner here, but Willings just rocking and rolling there, managed to get out of trouble. Back on your job! Come on, work! Don't get tight, man, man. let's go! We've cut now on the right eye, on the corner of the right eye. From one of those right hands, you would imagine, has a little bit of a wild swing at Whitaker, who shimmies in front of him. Playing the matador to the ball, but Willings does manage to get hold of him to a degree. And I like this from Leon Willings because when Ben Whitaker is trying to do that kind of thing, he won't have it. No, he's, he's defiant. He's trying to trying to slip outside the jab. They're trying to fire back with the right hand. He's fired off it. That kind of 
kind of four kilter map then willing sees that almost as his invitation right okay maybe you're not 100 concentrated here here i come yeah it's been in it the first three rounds have been interesting to say the least look ben whitzker's on top but he hasn't had it all his own way willing certainly landed some good shots and, and has got out the way of the shots too. Oh, jeez. Willing just yeah, yeah. it with the right hand there, and then catches Whitaker with the left as Whitaker was just on his way back out. Whitaker took it well, though. He did take it well. Another right there from Willings. Whitaker probably would do well to just get back on the jab here, body and head, go up and down like he was at the start of the fight, and just try and go about the process once again of working his opponent over because he's just got a bit of wind in his sails here Leon Willings and Whitaker needs to to take it out basically De definitely and get back to the jabs the body straight right hands to the head left hooks to the body put those combinations together and yeah put out the fire that Leon Willings has managed to create And he is big a touch more circumspect in this fourth round. So far, at least, Whitaker just fainting with that front foot, looking to keep it at distance. Jab to the chest. He's just looking to reset here and try and re-establish that absolute dominance that he had in the first round. Yeah, it looks like Ben slowed down a bit. I don't know, maybe he's just trying to, like you said, um, show that, yeah set the dominance in the, the round but yeah he ain't throwing as much I think he needs to be mindful of what's coming back at him because Leon Williams has you know fired back the straight right hand slipped down side the jab and Whitaker came back with the right hand sometimes the drop in lead left uppercut so he's, he's got to be mindful of what's coming back at him and he's getting more confident with the shoulder roll as well when he's on a rope he's rolling a few right hands just stuffed it his way in there, Willings, and tried to let that right hand go. There wasn't quite enough room for it by the time he did. This has been a quiet around from the pair of them, spearing out that jab there, Whitaker. Looking for a big overhand right there, Willings. Good job from Leon. Nice right hand counter there from Whitaker. Keep applying the pressure with the jab. Nice side. Nice. Trying to chop down with that right hand again, but he has got a habit of dipping quite low at the waist, Williams. And you have to make that adjustment. Leon's defense is just for both of them, so I'm looking forward to that fight. So into the fifth, into the second half of this, scheduled for eight. Ben Whitaker. Olympic silver medalist, very highly rated prospect. He's in the red and white. I said it weren't going to go past three. Neil's doing all right. Absolutely, he is. He is. And I said towards the beginning that you don't know when somebody steps up onto this kind of stage, particularly when they're faced with a character like Whitaker, whether they will be able to handle it, Matt, or whether they will freeze. You just don't know until the first bell goes. It was a torrid first round, but in the second round. He gambled a bit, didn't he? And that shows that he's got some he's got some bottle as well as some ability. Yeah, I think he took some clean shots. He got obviously the, the, the knockdown, but I think he thought, no, you know what, I can live with that power. I think the speed has troubled him and the variety at times from Whitaker. But I, don't, I think he's felt the power and thought, no, I, I can cope with that. And uh, he's got a little bit bolder in times as the fight's gone. You know, that said, Whitaker has won every round, clearly. But he's certainly been competitive, Willinks. When Whitaker's really struggling to land that right hand now, it looks like Williams is rolling them with ease. He's getting more and more confident. You mentioned it, Dan, and his defence, particularly on the ropes, has been good because he tucks his chin in behind that shoulder. He uses that roll, and not all that much has got through clean. And when the right hand has landed, he's been pulled right onto his back foot, so the sting's kind of gone out of it, mostly by the time it's landed. Yes, look, missed the right hand there again. Lovely uppercut. 
it just capable there, Williams, of coming back with something. Whitaker sticking to the task, right hand there, left into the body, lands one to the body, Ooh. Willings comes back. There was a good left hook there from Willings, and then Whitaker lands a lovely straight right hand. Well, two right hands right there. I have to really give credit to Leon's defence there. Ben's going to have to come up with something else, and he just puts in a cheeky uppercut there. He showed a good chin as well, Williams, because he did take that, flush, that right hand flush. Ben Whitaker's showing a good chin also. He's been caught with a few clean shots as well. And look, two, two left hooks there, and just pops his head in front of Leon. Just swaggering forward, Whitaker, looking to launch that left hand. Rolls another right hand. Sorry, I'm just in the awe of how he's rolling them right hands. Good shoulder roll. Lovely left hook too. Whitaker low on face, looks to try. Let his own hands go a little bit into the final ten seconds of round five. Leon is definitely getting more and more confident. It's making Ben miss and he's landing shots. Has got better as the fight's gone on. I'll admit I did fear for Leon Williams a little bit this week because it's just such a big step up in every single way and as I said you don't know how somebody will react and you never want any fighter who's bold enough to take that kind of step to have it turn into a really regrettable experience and that is not what has happened here. No but I've, I looked at Leon's um, record and he's had some decent fights against decent opposition He's won an area title, and I really respect the area titles because you're always fighting someone who's of the same ilk as you. So um, the occasion might have got to him, but he's definitely been in there with 50, in like 50-50 fights or you know fights he might not have even been tired to win. So he's definitely showing what he's made of for sure. And he's only 23 years of age himself. It's a baby. People will ask the question, though, Matt, if this goes the distance. And that question will be, should Ben Whitaker be dealing with an area-level fighter in better fashion than this, given the, ta the talent that he has and what people think he could go on to achieve? I think the thing with Ben Whitaker is he's not a massive puncher. Yeah, I know he scored some good knockouts, but that's because he's timed the shots nicely and walked the monster shots. I don't think he's a... A massive puncher. I think he's a very slick boxer, very skillful, sharp. Um, and so, you know, he is going to box people that maybe he's not going to get them out of there as quick as people would normally think that he would. But I think you'll see the best of Ben Whittaker when he's in with somebody where it's like a 50 50 fight. I think that's when he'll really see him shine. Heading into the final minute of round six. And again, he's not looked to be too expansive in this round, Whitaker. Doubling up with a jab to the body, then up to the head. And Willings, I think, is happy enough to almost agree to a round off here to an extent. Because it's been boxing a good pace, this, isn't it? No, very good pace. You know, when you're doing all the working around, you're letting the shots go, and the other guy's just kind of surviving, looking after himself, but then kind of ambushes you with the first once around. It's, do you know what I mean? It's not the same. I'm not going to say it's easy to do that against someone like Ben Whitaker, it isn't, but it's Ben Whitaker's winning the rounds, he's initiating the attacks, he's putting the work in. Willings is on the back foot, and every now and then he'll open up with the burst, but he can't sustain it to win the round. That's a good one, Whitaker. This is good for Whitaker. Really concussive use of the jab for about 10 seconds before that. Then let his hands go a little bit. Listens and tries to take more of the front foot in this round. So into the seventh. Whitaker in the white and red. Willings in the blue and white. Tried to time the right hand over the top of the jab there, Whitaker. I think if Willings is more aggressive and comes forward, that'll be better for Whitaker. I think, you know, he's, like I said, he's not the heaviest 
single punch hits her, but he's sharp, he's a good counter puncher, and he walks you onto a shot that you don't see. That's how he scores his knockouts. But if a guy's going to be on the back foot surviving, it's harder for him to, 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 to get the knockouts. He just switched southpaw briefly there, Willings. Again, just manages to roll under a couple on the ropes, but then did catch a couple. I think he's beginning to feel this a bit, Leon Willings. I think those resistance levels are beginning to drop because he's taken plenty of clean punches. And as I said, you can't necessarily take them forever. You can feel the power and be confident that it's not just going to completely take you out, but the cumulative effects is what we're seeing now. And he's hardly coming back with anything, so it seems like it's only a matter of time now. And in these last three or four rounds, he's gone back to basics, really, Whitaker. He made a very good, strong start. And they had a little bit of a tear up really in rounds two and three and Willings played a good good part in that But from four onwards Whitaker has gone back to that jab mostly throwing that one two just Believing that over time that will break his opponent down and put them in a position where maybe he can get the finish But were he not to tonight you don't always judge your fights Merits on whether you get the stoppage or not Matt. I think he'll be Happy to get eight good rounds in the bank here yeah, I think so. He's um, Willings has been competitive. He's, he's, he's landed some good shots. He's made Whitaker think. Whitaker's landed some good shots himself, and he's been dominant. Nah, he definitely won't be happy with, if it goes the distance. He wants another highlight Instagram reel, and he wants something to get loads of views on. This isn't going to get him that, and yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll want to get the knockout. Yeah, yeah, but you ain't going to get those every time, Dan, as you know. And Willings just looking for the uppercut there. Whitaker standing a little bit closer. Good left hand there from Willings. And then swings himself off his feet. Looking for a huge left hook. Whitaker just managing to pull back out of range. But again, he's still got that fight in him, Willings. I did wonder whether it was slowly leaving him, but not a bit of it. He landed a quick few clean shots. Nice left hook there. But he's just not throwing enough of them. I think he's had. This might be a bit of a reach, but if it does go to point, ben, ben does win. I can imagine Leon going home afterwards and thinking, oh, I could have actually given this guy a run for his money, you know, because he's not doing that bad. He's just not doing enough. Now, you make a good point there. Because that's what fighters always do, isn't it? You're never really satisfied, and although he'll take a lot of pride if he gets through to the end of the fight here, with the way that he has boxed, the way that he has fought, the way that he has dug in, he will, I'm sure, think along those lines in the coming days, and it'll be very interesting to see what he goes on to do from here. He's targeting the English title, I know that. Ricky Summers is defending that against Troy James before too long. But Whitaker just going for a little walk away to our right-hand side. And then in the final two minutes, I think we'll look to try and click through the gears as much as he can and see if he can get that stoppage. It doesn't look likely at the moment. He got that knocked down in the opening round, but since then, Willings has swung himself off his feet in that previous round. But other than that, he hasn't really looked particularly hurt by any single punch at any point. Yeah, maybe the level of opposition, you know, the high it goes, maybe that, you know, drops all that drop from Ben Whitaker. I was looking forward to seeing some new moves, that lovely one, two on a rope. Well, we see the little bit of that, but... Nah, not enough. Not Williams enough. Has, Williams hasn't right really hand. allowed him to do it to an extent. And I do think that he's come here tonight with a real sense of purpose, Whitaker, to break his opponent down. And just be all business. He did say that yesterday after the way into Andy Scott, but then he says plenty of things. <laughs> nah, the, you know, the followers, the viewers, you know, everyone on the Ben Whitaker bandwagon, we come to see dancing, humiliation, have a laugh. Do you know what I mean? We ain't come to see this.
final few seconds, and Willing's looking to try and let that left hand go again. Looking out of the ring there, Whitaker, the Willing's just Ooh, pulls and throws nice that big hand over the right. And that was a decent shot. <laughs> Whitaker trying to counter with the right hand. There goes a 10 second clapper. This is going to go all the way to the final belt, which got a nice stiff jab there, but Willings is going to finish the fight, back in Ben Whitaker up to the ropes, and Ben Whitaker has won that fight, but Leon Willings has shown us plenty in there coming in at short notice, so I absolutely 